Matthew Saying 90 here. Today is Saturday, December 31st, 2022. And you know what that means, guys? Today's New Year's Eve. Oh, wow. Guys, I honestly can't believe that today's New Year's Eve. So, yeah, that means today is the last day of 2022, and tomorrow is the first day of 2023. Oh, wow. Now, guys, I'll be honest. Doesn't it not feel like New Year's? Because, like... <clears throat> Today's New Year's Eve, but it honestly doesn't really feel like New Year's. Isn't that kind of weird, guys? But yeah. That's very exciting, though, that it's New Year's Eve and tomorrow's the first day of 2023. Oh, wow. <clears throat> well, I hope you guys are having a good day today. Uh, let me know in the comments below and tell me how your day is so far. Uh, so far, my day's going okay. I'm having a good New Year's Eve so far. Um... I still, guys, I still can't get over the fact that today's already New Year's Eve. Like, it honestly, like, I'm telling you guys, I know I keep saying this in a lot of my vlogs, but I'm telling you, this year, 2022 went by so quick. Like, where did time ever go? Like, I'm telling you. Like, it still feels like New Year's Day from this year was, like, not that long ago, even though it was, like, already a whole year, a whole year now, since, like, January 1st, 2022. It's already been like almost a whole year since that day. Even though it doesn't feel that long. Like, that's how fast 2022 went by. Like, we all, like, I thought 2021 went by fast. You know, I thought 2021 went by fast, and now I think 2022 went by fast. <clears throat> I bet you 2023 will go by fast too, and then before we know it, it'll be 2024, and then I bet you that year will go by fast, and then. It'll be 2025, and then it'll be 2026, 2027, all that. But let's hope 2023 will go a little slower, or feel like it'll go by a little slower. Considering that 2021 and 2022 both went by fast, but I mean, let's be honest. For how things in the world have been lately, I have a feeling that 2023 will also feel like it'll go by quick. So we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, so yeah, guys, uh, this is the New Year's Eve video for this year, guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the last video. Uh, the last video I uploaded was the uh, the prime review video. That was when Dustin was over at my house and I tried the the blue raspberry and the tropical punch flavors. I think it was pretty good. If you guys haven't checked out the prime review video, I'll put a link to it in the description down below. And if you guys also if you guys also haven't checked out the pocky cookies and cream review I did the other day, I'll put a link put a link to that video in the description down below as well. Um, so yeah. But I hope you guys are having a good day. A good New Year's Eve. Uh, be sure to let me know in the comments below and tell me what your plans for New Year's Eve is tonight or what you guys are going to be doing today. Uh, I actually have a family dinner to go to at my cousin's house later at 7. And we're going to be going, and I'm actually going to be at my cousin's for New Year's Eve and like watch the countdown. If we have the countdown, like the ball drop on TV, I'll definitely film a short video for it and put it on YouTube as like YouTube shorts. And it would be the first video of 2023. So, yeah. I promise I'll try and do that tonight, you guys, and, uh, yeah. Um, so for this, so for today's video, guys, uh, I'm gonna do, uh, what I did, like, I, I'm sorry. For this New Year's Eve video, guys, uh, I'm sorry if I sound a little rusty or a little off. Um, for the, for this year's New Year's Eve vlog, guys, I'm gonna do, um, what I did, I'm gonna do the same thing what I did last year on New Year's Eve. If you guys seen the video I, I uploaded last year on New Year's Eve, uh, I set the camera down, and I told you guys, like, how 2022 went, and what I did in 2022, and what I hoped and expect to happen for, you know, this year. Or, you know, um, like, in, like, last year I talked about, like, how 2021 was, and what I hoped to happen for this year, 2022. So I'm gonna do the same thing for today's video, because today's New Year's Eve, where I'll talk about 2022, and what I hope and expect for 2023. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry if I kind of sound a little off or rusty right now, guys. Um, I apologize for that. Um, so, yeah, trying to think of things to talk about. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I will be doing a video tomorrow, guys, for New Year's Day for the first vlog of 2023. Oh, guys, I'm actually really excited for this year. Uh, I do have a lot of uh, video ideas for 2023, including, like, Retro Fest and, like, Rib Fest and... You know, all that. Even, like, Crow Fest next year. and I even have, like, other things I want to do. Well, because, like, since we're also going to Florida in January, I'll be vlogging there, too. And 
I'm just saying if we do end up going like anywhere, like for a day or for a weekend, like in the spring or summertime, maybe fall, then I'll vlog there. I'm actually hoping that maybe this year we can go to Niagara Falls. Because I actually haven't been to Niagara Falls in a while. Because like the last time I've been to Niagara Falls was actually 2017. So almost six years ago. Like, gee, damn. Yeah, hopefully I can go. Hopefully we go to Niagara Falls someday, or if we go this summer, um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, guys. I hope you guys did. And I actually was gonna do a video yesterday, guys, but I kind of didn't really. I changed my mind. I kind of didn't want to. And also, yesterday was pretty rainy. I was walking around last night, and it was really rainy, so I got picked up by my parents. And I actually went to the LCBO last night to get some beer for tonight. Because, you know, <laughs> I'm, you know, it's New Year's Eve, you know, party. Um, but yeah. Also, guys, um, one of my friends, if you guys remember my friends, uh, Rose. Uh, Rose is the girl that was in our, uh, or what, she was in the, sorry. She was in Dustin's Ribfest vlog. And she was the girl that I went to the 80s Gone Wild concert at Ribfest this summer. And that and Rose is the person who went to my Thanksgiving dinner. Um, she actually invited me and Dustin to go to her house for New Year's Eve party, but it starts at like five, and uh, since I'm going to my cousin's around like six thirty, it's like uh, I don't know if I can go because you know we're going to my cousin's like kind of like a little like a little before seven, so yeah. So I don't know, guys. Um, I probably won't be able to hang out with my friends today, because I already have plans, and yeah. Feels like I had a lot of, like, people, like, ask me if I want to do something on New Year's Eve, because they, you know, I got tickets for the Rockin' New Year's concert that's tonight that I'm not going to anymore. My friends want to hang out on New Year's Eve, and now I gotta go to my, and I gotta go to my cousins, or I have my family dinner, so. It's like, I kind of have, like, a lot of options for New Year's Eve. That's why New Year's Eve can be stressful, because, you know, everyone, you know, is wanting to do something, get together, and all that, which, I mean, that's not a bad thing, but, you know, it's like, sometimes, like, gives me a lot of options, and it's like, oh, come on, like, you're making me over, like, come on, guys, you're making me, like, overthink this, <laughs> but I might just go to my family dinner, or hopefully we can, like, hang out with, with, hopefully I can hang out with my friends for, like, a little bit in the afternoon, and then, like, 6.30, 7, like, around there, I can go to my cousin's house. Cause that 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 would be a little bit a little bit better, but hopefully, right? Hopefully we can. Hopefully they don't say like, oh, never mind, we you don't have to come over then. I'll be like, okay. But yeah. Um. So yeah, guys. I'm actually I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna I'm gonna put the camera down for now. I'll pause it and then I'll uh, set the camera on my desk because I'm gonna give you guys a little end of year review. And then, uh, yeah, then I'll end the video after that, so, let's go. Okay guys, hope you guys can see me. Um, so now in this part of the video, I'm going to give you guys an end of the year review. Uh, this is exactly what I did last year on New Year's Eve for my end of year review for 2021. And so this is going to be my end of year review for 2022. So, I'm going to tell you guys uh, what happened or how I felt for 2022, like what I, like my opinions on the year, my thoughts, and... I'll tell you guys what happened during this year and what I did and I'm going to tell you guys after that what I hope and expect or <clears throat> what I hope and expect for 2023. So, I'm going to tell you guys uh, how I felt about 2022. Um I would say 2020 I would say this year was a good year. I I, I actually would say 2022 was a good year. This year was actually in my opinion it was actually better than 2021 and 2020. Of course, you know, 2020, but this year was better than the last couple years. I think 2022 was like, honestly, like 2022 was like the first like normal year we've had since like 2019. You know, we had like no, barely any lockdowns, no restrictions, no masks. Well, we had lockdowns and the restrictions and the masks for like the first few months of this year. But for like most of this year, we had like none of those, zero. Which is good, because I was so hoping that by this year that all of the mandates, all the masks, and all the lockdowns would be over, and they're over now. They're gone. So, my wish came true. Um, so, yeah, guys, because um, 
I'll I'm going to tell you guys uh, what happened uh, during this year so you guys can kind of get a little glimpse of what I'm talking about. So we're going to start off with January. So January, the first month of this year, uh, we started this year off in a lockdown. You know, we had the, you know, we had the masks still, we had the restrictions and the mandates and we still had the lockdowns. I think we still even had like the vax passes uh, that, you know, started in September of 2021 and, you know, they were last and they lasted until March. Um, yeah, so in January we had a lockdown and uh, January, it wasn't really the greatest month in my opinion for, for me, only because... Well, it was okay, but there were, there were moments there were, there were moments in that month where it wasn't the greatest. Because in January, I actually was dealing with a lot of anxiety. Like, I was having, like, intrusive thoughts and, like, mostly, like, negative thoughts going through my head. Like, I'll tell you guys some of the things that were, like, kind of causing me anxiety. Like, what was going through my head in the time in January. It was just the fact that, you know, it was a whole new year. I was kind of having like anxiety, like what happens like in the future, and, like what happens like after you die and all that. Like I like for a long time, I honestly had like a huge fear of like death and like what happens when you die and like the future and all that and what was going to happen and all sorts of that stuff. And uh, so that's kind of what made January not the best month for me for this year. However, uh, at the end of January, that's actually when the, the, you know, the truckers, the Freedom Convoy went to Ottawa, the protesters, which I know a lot of people, some people will not agree with that, you know, because there were some people that didn't agree with the convoy. They think like, oh, the convoy was, you know, bullshit. Like they were whining because of the mandates. If they really understood what they were protesting for, then they would be more supportive, but yeah, I gotta sneeze. <coughs> Hang on, is there another one? Okay, sorry guys. Um, excuse me. So, yeah, in January, at the end of January, um, that's when the trucker, the Freedom Convoy, came to Ottawa. And, uh, that's when all the protesters were there for, like, a few weeks, actually. And, um, yeah, I... I'll be I'll be one to say I did support the convoy. I did support it. I think what the truckers did and what everyone, everyone was doing, standing up against the government, you know, because let's be honest, not to get political or anything, but let's be honest, Justin Trudeau and the liberal government, pieces of shits. Let's be honest. But anyways, <laughs> not trying to get not trying to make this video political or anything. I'm just pointing out my opinions. But um. Yeah, so that happened in January, and even a little bit of into February too. I'll get into February in a bit as well, in, a, in, a, in a second, but yeah, like every day, like the end of January, I would go on TikTok and like keep updated on like the truckers, like where they are, like where they are, and what's going on in Ottawa. It was it was it was crazy. It was a whole thing. Like I think, and I honestly think the convoy and all the protests were like awesome like what the Canadians were doing like everyone getting together like standing up against like Trudeau and like you know standing up for the country and you know because like some of our like civil rights and liberties and like like our right to have choice to get jab you know vaccinated or wear masks you know like basically I mean they weren't kidding like you should have a choice to wear a mask or get vaccinated, right? I'm just saying, like, I'm just pointing out, but yeah. So that's basically January, and I'm, that's all I really have to say about January. Um, so now in February, uh, so like in early February, uh, the convoy was still happening. The truckers were still there. Not even just truckers, like a lot of people, like Canadians were even going to Ottawa and like protesting with them. But things escalated when Trudeau uh, invoked the Emergencies Act in February, causing like riot police to basically stop protesters from protesting, <laughs> which I think is kind of stupid. Like we should have the right to protest, right? And so that was a huge thing. And uh, yeah, 
But I'm gonna talk about myself in February. I'm not gonna talk this. Um, this video is not gonna be all about the convo and everything. Um, but like, in, for me in February, like how I was in February, um, my mental health was kind of getting like a little bit better. Like I started feeling a, like a little bit better in February. Like I wasn't as scared or anxious in February. Like I, I was still. I mean, okay, I was still getting like those like thoughts a little bit in February, but they were starting to get a little bit better. Like I was starting to handle them a little bit better and you know, things were starting to get a little better for me, but they were still kind of shit, you know? And we all know what happened in February, you know, the, the war in Ukraine started or the Russian Ukraine invasion happened. So yeah, it's still going on. Uh, but yeah, I didn't really do much in February either. Uh, but I mean, by February, the lockdown ended and some of the restrictions were actually being lifted in February. So, I mean, that's good. At least in uh, February, everything was slowly starting to go back to normal. But then things started getting a lot better by March. Because by March, um, by March, you guys all know at the beginning of March, I went to London and did that vlog at the Mandarin and the White Oaks Mall. And that's when I got the Metallica shirt at Spencer's. Um, yeah, that was actually a really good day. It was my uh, first time being in London in like a while, actually, like going to London and actually going shopping. It was my first time going there in like a few years. So it was pretty nice being there. Um, so yeah, and by March, that's when all the restrictions and the, uh, the Vax passes and the masks were removed. So everything basically went back to normal in March of this year. And, uh, yeah, and you guys all know on St. Patrick's Day, I did that one vlog where I was on a bike ride, and about St. Patrick's Day, guys, this St. Patrick's Day was really warm. Can you guys, do you guys agree that this St. Patrick's Day, if you guys remember, it was really warm that day, like, I think it was, like, probably 20 degrees on St. Patrick's Day, like, it felt like summer on St. Patrick's Day, like, I was literally out in shorts and t-shirt on St. Patrick's Day. And that's March 17th, like middle of March, already going out in shorts and t-shirt, and it feels like summer, like 12, de not 12, 20 degrees, like it was so nice, you guys. And, um, and I remember on the last day of March, uh, me, my mom, my cousin, and my aunt went to Sarnia, and I, and that's when I did that vlog at the Lampton Mall over there. If you guys remember, I did a vlog at the Lampton Mall in Sarnia at the end of March this year, um, it was actually not bad of a mall. It actually wasn't. It actually was kind of decent. It was a decent mall. They had a Spencer's there, and they had like a f decent food court, and they had some. They had like Old Navy and the, all that, and like a Home Sense and a Marshalls, and yeah, it was pretty nice. It was okay. Uh, I do remember it was actually kind of chilly that day. I remember it was cloudy, and I remember it was like a little windy and kind of cold. I was wearing like a sweater and all that because it was you know the start of spring, and it was right before you know April, so. Yeah, I remember it was a little cold, but it was, it was still not bad of a day. It was still a pretty good day. Uh, so, yeah. And then we get to April. Um, you guys all know on April Fool's Day, I did that uh, little the April Fool's video where I pranked you guys into thinking I was quitting YouTube. And uh, and I was like, oh, wait, did I tell you guys the date? <laughs> and then I flipped my phone around and I showed you guys the date and it was said April 1st. And I was like, April Fool's. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember that video. Um, but yeah, and then we had Easter, um, oh no, that was, wait, what else did we do? Did we do it? I was wondering, did, I was thinking, did I do anything else before, but yeah, um, but yeah, in April, uh, I didn't really, I didn't really do much in April, uh, yeah, there wasn't really too much going on in April, I can't remember, um, we had Easter, and, uh, we had, of course, my Easter dinner at my cousin's house, and, you guys probably remember, uh, on, uh, on Easter, like Easter day, we went to Rondo and that's when I went with Dustin and we did that vlog there and it was actually a pretty good day. It was pretty sunny there. Although it was a little chilly, it was kind of cold, surprisingly. I thought it was going to be warm on Easter, but it was actually kind of chilly. Like it was like probably seven degrees roughly on Easter or 10 degrees. I was wearing my coat, so, yeah, which I probably could have just worn, like, two sweaters, but, yeah, I probably could have at least worn two sweaters, but I didn't, but, you know. 
But I remember uh, while we were going to Rondeau on Easter, I remember when we left Chatham, it was cloudy. And then when we got to Rondeau, it was sunny. <laughs> I was like, bruh. <laughs> but yeah. And I actually remember, guys, the day after Easter, which was April 18th, I remember it snowed. Do you guys remember it snowed the day after Easter in April? Because I remember the day after Easter this year, we had like a lot of snow in Chatham. I was like, damn. Like, it was crazy. And, uh, yeah. And I and, uh, went to my grandma's that day. And I, and I actually did that. And I actually did a vlog on that day where I started off at the train station. And it was kind of like a short vlog. You guys probably, if you guys remember, it was like that one video where it was like, right now the video was like kind of like a different, like how it looked different than like every other video. But it kind of just turned out like, didn't really turn out well. So I still uploaded it. So, yeah. <laughs> And then for the end of April, uh, it wasn't really do much. It wasn't really that much to do with the end of April, um, but actually the end of April, the end of April, like it actually felt like summer. Like it actually warmed up a lot by like the end of April, and uh, it was starting to feel like summer. I was like, hey. <laughs> and then we get to May, and that's when things really starting to pick up. Cause in May, of course, we have Mother's Day. Um, but in May, uh, my uncle from Alberta came down. You guys all remember I did that vlog where I drove to Toronto to pick him up at the airport and we had firehouse subs for dinner and then we drove back to Chatham and it was a pretty good vlog. Um, so yeah, my uncle was, yeah, cause my uncle came down for a weekend in May and it was pretty good. It was really nice seeing him. It was my first time seeing him in a few years, like before COVID and, uh, yeah. And then... After that, uh, we went to Florida, and it was really fun. You guys all know I did a lot of vlogs in Florida and had my birthday there. I, it was nice turning 20 years old in uh, Florida. And you guys will probably remember, on my birthday this year, uh, we went to Cocoa Beach for my birthday, and I did that vlog. And on my, For my birthday dinner this year, I had Rock and Brews in Florida. It was pretty sick. Um, but yeah. And also in May, that's, oh yeah. In May, before I went to Florida, and while my uncle was, you know, here visiting, that's when the poutine feast was happening, and, uh, I did that little vlog at the Memorial Arena to show you guys. Now, guys, do you guys agree that May this year was, like, really hot? Do you guys, do you guys think that this May, like, May from this year was, like, really warm? Like, I'm telling you, May this year felt like summer. Like, when my uncle was down in May... Like, it felt like summer in Chatham. Like, it was hot. Like, it was, like, almost 30 degrees in May. Like, I was surprised that this year's May was, like, it was, like, almost summer-like, even though it was, like, middle of spring. Like, that's crazy. I mean, I'm glad that this year's May was, like, I don't know, felt like summer, but, yeah. So, yeah, so for the end of May, you know, I was in Florida, and it was pretty good. Um, we drove to Florida, there and back. And, uh, yeah. And then we get to June, and uh, I get back, I come back home from Florida on June 3rd, and I did that one vlog where I was walking around when I, on the day I got back from uh, Florida. And then the day after that, on June 4th, you guys all know I hung out with Dustin. It was my first time hanging out with him since I went to Florida, and that's when we saw the Moondog Howlers at Tecumseh Park, which at first we thought they were called Manic Drive, but Manic Drive is a whole different band. And, like, the Moondog Collars are, like, a band from Chatham, and they were, like, I guess, like, one of the opening bands for them. So that was pretty cool, seeing the Moondog Collars. Um, yeah, there wasn't really that much going on in June. Uh, of course, it was start of summer, but, you know. And, uh, oh, yeah, in June, me and Dustin did that uh, dual vlog at the Black Bridge area. That was kind of cool. And I remember on that one, if you guys remember, there was one day... Uh, one vlog I made in June was when it was really hot in Chatham. Like, if you guys remember, in June, there was days where it was, like, so hot. Like, it felt like almost 40 degrees. Like, I was like, damn, it's hot. Like, I was sweating buckets. Like, holy, it was, it was hot. Because in June, we were in a heat wave, <laughs> which made it really hot. And a lot of humidity, too, so it was not the greatest. June is definitely summer. Oh, yeah. And there was also another day in June. It was June 18th, and that's when I did the review on the French Vanilla Cold Brew. You guys probably remember that video. Um, it, was a, it was actually on June 18th, 
And I remember on that day, it was actually kind of chilly in Chatham, which was weird. That <laughs> like a week or a few days before that, it was like really hot. And then it was June 18th, and it was like kind of almost like spring weather. It was like spring. <laughs> I guess I was like, oh, I was like, oh, I guess, you know, I guess uh, Mother Nature is wanting to end spring off with its spring weather. And then a few days later, it would be the start of summer, and then we'd go back to summer weather. <laughs> but yeah. I guess June 18th had like a spring kind of day because it was like one of the last days of spring. Uh, but yeah, I remember on June 18th, I was wearing like a sweater and like pants and like it felt kind of cold. Like I think it was like, it was probably like 17 or like 18 degrees that day, which I know that sounds warm, but like it was kind of windy, like a little breezy. So it kind of made it feel a little colder. Um, but yeah. And then the day after that, which was Father's Day, June 19th, that's when we went to Toronto to see the Blue Jays game. Uh, they played against the New York Yankees, and uh, that was a pretty good day. You guys probably remember that video, the Blue Jays game. I was like, screw you, Yankees. Oh, God. <laughs> that was funny. But, yeah, it was a pretty good day. Um, I, do, I definitely do remember the Blue Jays game. It was amazing. Good time. And then at the end of June, there wasn't really much going on. It was Star Summer. And then we get to July, so it was Canada, so then it's Canada Day, um, on Canada Day, that's when me and Dustin hung out and we did that, we did our vlogs. There wasn't really that much to do on Canada Day, because it was kind of like rainy on Canada Day, like it was kind of, the weather wasn't the greatest. Uh, but it was still okay, like Canada Day was okay. And that's when the Canada Day event happened at Tecumseh Park in downtown, and it wasn't really, a, no, it was kind of sad, because like it wasn't really a lot going on at the Canada Day event, but... You know, it was okay, I guess. And then after that was Rib Fest. Um, you guys probably remember uh, the first vlog I made at Rib Fest was showing you guys at the park, and that was when I was with my friends Dustin and Rose. And um, yeah, and then the second video I did at Rib Fest was uh, it was on July 9th, I think. And that's when I was walking around. I showed you guys at the park. I gave you guys a whole tour, and you know all that stuff. And at Rip Fest, that's when me and my friend Rose saw the band 80s Gone Wild. They were like a tribute band to like hair metal and like 80s rock. Like this, like Iron Maiden. <laughs> and like Metallica and like Ozzy and all that. And like Guns N' Roses. And uh, it was on the, I think it was like the second day of Rip Fest, which was July 8th. And that was pretty sick, guys. Uh, that was actually when the singer of 80s Gone Wild actually got hold, held my phone and then filmed the crowd and gave it back to me. That was so sick. I was like, hey. I think I still have that video on my phone, so I'll show you guys a clip of it right now. Yeah, guys, isn't that pretty sick? That literally happened to me at Ripfest this year. Like, that was so cool. And also, guys, the night we saw 80s Gone Wild at the park, it was also kind of cold. Like, it was kind of chilly. Like, think about this, guys. It It's July 8th, right? This was July 8th. It's July, you know, it's summertime. But that night, it felt kind of cold. Like, I was actually, like... I was only out in a t-shirt, but I felt like I was shivering. I was cold. Like, I probably should have brought, like, a hoodie, like, a sweater. Because that night, or that day, it was, like, like sweater weather. Like, I remember that night, it was, like, probably 12 degrees or 11 degrees that night. And it was July. Like, July, you guys. Or, no, I think it was actually, like, 10 degrees that night. Like, think about that, guys. It's July, and it's, like... 10 degrees at night, like, sweater weather at night, like, it was, like, fall weather, but in July. Can you imagine that, guys? Like, fall, like, weather in July. That's definitely crazy, like, having, like, being chilly enough for it to, where you have to wear a sweater in July is, like, crazy. Um, but, yeah. Um, so, yeah, guys. Uh, but, yeah, all in all, Rib Fest was good. Um, Rip Fest was awesome, and, uh, I got to see some cool bands, and, yeah, I had some good food, and it was pretty fun. 
And, uh, yeah. Then after Rip Fest, uh, we went to uh, Sabo to go camping. You guys all know I did a few vlogs at Sabo. Like, I filmed at the Indian Creek Falls or, or Indian Falls or whatever. And I vlogged in, like, uh, I vlogged at the Grotto. I vlogged at Sabo Beach. I gave you guys a tour. And I vlogged, like, the day we left and the day we got back, I think. I think I, vlog I, think I vlogged that. Um, but, yeah, Sabo was, but yeah, Sabo was fun. Uh, the cottage, like, the little beach house we stayed at was pretty cool. It, it was kind of small. The bedrooms were really small there. <laughs> Wait, definitely smaller than this. But, um, no, it was good. Um, we went to Owen Sound and did, like, a little bit of shopping. That's when I got Shinedown's album, Planet Zero. And, uh, yeah. Oh, oh, guys, guys. Mm, I'm sorry, but I almost forgot to mention something about June. On June 25th, that's when we went to Windsor and went to the Mandarin there. And that was my first time going to the Windsor Mandarin. And I went to Devonshire Mall to go shopping. And that's when I got a Metallica shirt and a Disturbed album. I almost forgot to mention that. Anyways, I'll go back to July. So, back to Sabo. Um, so yeah, Sabo was good. Uh, I believe we probably might go back next summer, like this coming summer. Maybe, but who knows. Um, but yeah, I had a good time in Sabo. It was pretty nice. The, we the weather was really good. There were some days where it actually felt kind of chilly, like almost felt like fall, but you know, it was good. It was mostly warm, like summer weather. Like it was decent, like 20 degrees mostly. It was okay. Some days were rainy and some days were kind of chilly, like a little cooler, but it was okay. So yeah. And then, uh, the day we got back from Sabo, I hung out with Dustin. You know, you guys probably know I was here. And then we get to August, and uh, there wasn't really that much going on in August. Not really. Um, in August, I can tell you some of the things that I did do in August. Uh, one of the things we did in August was uh, we went to see the Red Hot Chili Peppers in Toronto. Yeah, the Red Hot Chili Peppers, you guys. Oh, yeah. On August 21st, we went to see the Red Hot Chili Peppers in Toronto. I was, it was with me, it was me, my mom, my uncle, and three of my cousins. Uh, we went to Toronto to go see the Red Hot Chili Peppers, and the Strokes and Thundercat actually opened for them. And it was at the Rogers Center. Uh, we had Firehouse Subs for dinner there. It was really fun. It, it was, guys, it was definitely worth going to. Memorable. I will always remember seeing the Chili Peppers. They were phenomenal. And, uh, yeah. And also in August, uh... Yeah, I don't know. There wasn't really that much going on in August. There wasn't really that much to do. Like, I don't remember much happening in August, so there's not really much to say other, other than the Chili Peppers concert. Um, so, yeah. Oh, yeah, and the last day, on, on the last day of August, uh, that's when the new Third Street Bridge opened. And I did that one vlog going over the new Third Street Bridge. It was on the last day of August. So, yeah. And then we get to September, and uh, there, wasn't really, there wasn't really that much going on in September, we had Labor Day, of course, but, but yeah, you guys probably all know, on September 8th, that's when Queen Elizabeth II passed away, sadly, rest in peace, um, but yeah, it was, it was pretty sad hearing that Queen Elizabeth passed away in September, it was pretty sad, um, yeah, I did that one little video there on, uh, at the Memorial Arena, yeah, well, and, uh, yeah, and anything else about September? Uh, not that I know of. I mostly was just doing, like, whatever. I was, like, hanging out with friends and, or hanging out with Dustin and doing whatever. Oh, yeah, and for the first, like, week of fall in September, it felt really cold. Well, not really cold, but, like, it felt pretty chilly. Um, during, like, the first week of fall in September. Like, did you guys remember that? Like, the first week of fall in September was, like, kind of chilly? Because I remember that. That was, like, that was weird. I was, like, what the heck? <laughs> yeah. Um, but, yeah. So, that's basically it for September. You know, it wasn't really much going on. You know, it was just doing whatever. And now we get to October. And October... Things kind of picked up a little bit in October. Things kind of somewhat picked up a little bit. Um, <clears throat> you know, in October, uh, we had Thanksgiving, and that's when I had my friend Rose come to our uh, Thanksgiving dinner with us, and it was pretty cool. 
And I remember uh, on Thanksgiving weekend, it actually felt pretty warm. Like, <clears throat> I remember on Thanksgiving weekend, it actually kind of felt like summer. Like, because I remember uh, the day I actually went on that one bike ride in October. It was like the day after Thanksgiving. It was October 11th. I remember that day I went on the bike ride. It actually was like really warm. Like, it felt like summer. Like, it was like 23 degrees. It was October 11th. It was like sunny. I was wearing shorts and t-shirt. However, it was kind of windy that day, but you know, it was okay. Uh, Thanksgiving was really good. Um, so yeah. And, uh, and I remember after Thanksgiving, Crowfest happened. The first ever Crowfest to happen in Chatham. And Crowfest was really good for the first year. Crowfest was awesome. Um, that's when me and Dustin saw Grunge Cantina at Tecumseh Park on the first night of Crowfest. And what's cool, guys, is that I actually got a pair of drumsticks from the band Grunge Cantina. They're a tribute band, you know, of grunge music. And I actually got drumsticks from the band. I'll show you guys. They're in my uh, drawer here. Let me grab them. One sec, guys. Yeah. Check it out, guys. These are the drumsticks I got from Gr Grunge Cantina. And I'll show you guys something cool about it. It has the band's name on it. And like a little signature right there. He even has it on the uh, other stick too. Oh, look how cool that is. Hey. So yeah, guys, this is my souvenir from the band. Some drumsticks. <laughs> oh, God. But yeah, pretty sick right there, guys. And uh, I remember at Crowfest, it wasn't that chilly but it was nice like the weather was nice during crow fest it was a little chilly though like a little cool like it was like probably 16 15 degrees around crow fest but you know it was okay the weather was still not bad it was still nice outside it was october so it was like just starting to get cooler from the warm weather right but you know but there were days in october where it was warm because october can still have hot days like summer days but um, but yeah and on the second day of crow fest uh, you got, if you guys remember, I did a vlog for part two of Crowfest. Uh, I've seen Letterbomb, Chatham's own Letterbomb, play at Tecumseh Park, their first show in years. Uh, they're actually playing tonight at the Kiwanis Theater downtown for CK Rockin' New Year's 2023, which that was a concert that I was originally going to go to tonight, but I'm not going anymore because I'm going to go to my family's dinner and have New Year's there. Um, but yeah, I've seen Letterbomb at the park. It was really good. Um, Letterbomb was awesome. Sorry, I just had to scratch. Um, but yeah, like I'm not too too upset that I'm not seeing them tonight because I already seen Letterbomb at Crowfest. So I've already seen them once. I guess it's not a huge loss. And plus, I seen Bren from Letterbomb play at the Nest, literally on Lily earlier earlier this month on the third, and he's going to be playing there again on January 14th. So I'm going to be seeing him on the 14th. So yeah, but I guess it's okay. And maybe if Letterbomb plays at Ribfest this summer, maybe I'll go see Letterbomb at Ribfest. Or if they play an actual gig at Crowfest next year in October, maybe I'll go to that. But if they play um, Ribfest, then I'll go. Or if they play Crowfest again next year, then I'll go. But who knows? You know, who knows? Um, we'll just have to wait and see. Maybe they'll play Ribfest. Who knows? Um, but yeah. So Crowfest was awesome. Uh, I think Crowfest was a success. I can't wait for Crowfest next year. Um, Crowfest 2023. I'll definitely vlog at Crowfest next year. Uh, since I vlogged at Crowfest from this year, I'll definitely be sure to vlog at Crowfest in 2023. So, yeah, but that won't be until, you know, October of next year, right? So, yeah. And I remember after Crowfest, I actually had, was sick with a cold. For like a few days, like almost a week, like almost two weeks, I was sick with a cold, which really sucked. And I remember on October 20th, I, I probably did a video, I did a video on October 20th, but I swear guys, I think on October 20th, I think we actually had a bit of mix of rain and snow. Because I remember it was really cold that day, like it was like five degrees, it was cold. But I remember on October 20th, I swear, I think we had like a mix of rain and snow that day. Like, snow in October? Ugh. Imagine if, it ha imagine if it snowed, like, on Halloween or something. Like, imagine if we had snow on Halloween. I'd be like, damn. Uh, so, yeah. 
And then, of course, we had Halloween. Uh, yeah, I did. I did go for a bike ride on at the end of October. I remember on the, but like I remember at the end of October, it actually warmed up a lot. Where it started feeling like summer a little bit, and it was pretty nice. And you know, we had Halloween, and Halloween was good. And now we get to November. Almost then, almost done, guys. So now we're in November. Uh, the first day of November was actually really warm. It actually felt like summer. Like literally for like a, like the first couple weeks of November, it like felt like summer. Like it was so nice. Um, so yeah. And in November, you know, that's when I met Brianna. Um, so yeah. And then we had, and yeah, oh yeah. And then on November 5th, uh, me and Dustin and my parents went to Windsor. Uh, you guys all know me and Dustin did that vlog in Windsor in November. And, um, that's when Dustin got his, uh, Spongebob shirt, and I got Slipknot's album, Iowa. Uh, that was pretty sick. And I remember we were in, yeah, that's when we, went to, that's when we also went to Costco that day. But we actually had to stand outside Costco, because if you guys seen our vlogs, you guys, we told you guys that it was really overstimulating, and it got crazy. It was, it was crazy. Um, but yeah. Sorry. Um, so, yeah, we went to Windsor. And then, we, and then uh, you know, there was Remembrance Day. I did a Remembrance Day vlog. And I remember the day after Remembrance Day, which was November 12th. You guys all know I did that vlog where it snowed the day after Remembrance Day, which was November 12th. Yeah, on November 12th, we got snow in Chatham. It was like our first actual snowfall of the season. But if, if, it, if it did snow on October 20th, and I guess you could say October 20th was our first snowfall of the season. But November 12th was our actual first snowfall of the season. So... Yeah. And then in November, you guys all know, there was the, the Santa Claus Parade in November, and that's when I went with Dustin, Brianna, and my friends Sarah and Dan. Uh, and that's also when I, that's also when me and Brianna started dating, because uh, I asked her out on November 18th, and that's when we started dating. And uh, yeah. And I remember the day after the Santa Parade, it actually snowed a lot in Chatham. <laughs> and I ended up going to the Open's Nest, and it still went, even when we got, like, a lot of snow in November. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, and also, about November, at the beginning of November, uh, I think it was, like, November 3rd, I remember that's when we got, like, a lot of fog in Chatham. Like, do you guys remember the beginning of November, we got a lot, we got a lot of fog in Chatham? Because I do, it was crazy. But, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, and then, um... For the end of November, it actually, the end of November was actually not bad. Like, the weather at the end of November wasn't too bad. Like, it was, like, kind of back to fall weather. Like, it got, it warmed up a little bit. It started feeling more like fall again at the end of November, and it was pretty nice outside, and, yeah. That's when I started hanging out with Brianna, because that's when we started dating. Um, so, yeah. So, that was basically November in a nutshell. And then we get to this month, December, the final month. So in December, uh, I started off, oh yeah, on the first day of December, we saw, me and Brianna saw the CP Holiday Train at the Bradley Center, and Jojo Mason was playing on it, I think that was pretty sick, that was on the first day of December, and then on December 3rd, that's when I saw Bren at the Elephant's Nest, that was pretty cool, I actually, have, I actually got a picture with Bren from the Elephant's Nest, here's a picture of it right here, oh that's pretty sick, eh, yeah, um, so yeah, I saw Brandon at the Elfus Nest, and, uh, yeah. And, uh, you know, in December, we were, like, getting ready for Christmas and all that. There wasn't really that much going on in December. I was mostly hanging out with, like, Brianna and all that. Um, but, yeah. And, uh, yeah. And you guys all, do, and you guys all know, um, on Christmas Eve week, on Christmas weekend, we had that really big blizzard on Christmas, like, December 23rd to, like, Christmas Day, we had, like, that really huge blizzard, and it was bad. Like, you guys probably do know that last week we had that really big blizzard. And, of course, we had Christmas Eve and Christmas, and they were really good, and there was Boxing Day, and, yeah. And now we're here, New Year's Eve, guys, the last day of 2022. Oh, yeah, guys, um, I might as well just tell you guys this in this video, but, um... You guys, you guys know Brianna, um, unfortunately, we, uh, broke up the other day, so, I just want to get, like, out of the way that Brianna's probably, well, she's probably still gonna be in some vlogs, because we're still gonna be friends, but we're just not gonna be dating anymore, 
or at least for right now, but I don't know what's going on, but I thought I'd get that out of the way. Uh, so yeah, guys, uh, that was basically what I did in 2022. I know it was like really long, but I'll make, I'll say, I'll explain what I hope to expect for 2023. I'll say that really, really quick and then I'll end the video. So what I hope for 2023 is, I just hope 2023 will be yet another great year. And I just hope like 2023 will be like the first official normal year since 2019, you know, where we don't start the year off in a lockdown, where we don't have any bullshit like that. Um, even though I heard apparently uh, in February and like late January, there's going to be another convoy. But this time they're going to be going to like Winnipeg and Ottawa. So I guess there's going to be another convoy this year or in 2023. But, you know, um, but I hope 2023 will be a good year, you guys. And I just hope 2023 will be awesome. And I will, I'm really excited for this year, guys. I'm really, really excited. Like, I'm feeling really positive about 2023 because, you know, this year, 2022 was a good year and it was really positive. I have, I have the same feelings for 2023. I feel like, I feel like 2023 will be yet another good year, just like 2022 was. And, uh, yeah, hopefully there'll be more things to do in 2023 that I can vlog about and, uh, experience and make memories and all that. Well, one of the things that are going to be starting for 2023 is going to Florida in January and then it'll be February, and then it'll be March, and it'll be spring. So, yeah. And Retro Fest, and Rip Fest, and Crow Fest, and, you know. And, of course, my birthday during Retro Fest, or before, because it's in May. My birthday's May 25th, but, you know. Uh, so, yeah. That's what I hope and expect for 2023. So, yeah. All right, guys. I'm going to pause it again, and I'll uh, pick it back up when I end the vlog. Okay guys, that was my end of year review for 2022. I know it was really long. I know I was like talking a lot of things, but there was there was so much going on in 2022, guys. I would say this year was a great year. I'm really excited for 2023. I have a feeling that this year is going to be just as good as 2022 was. I I really do, guys. I see you guys. Look at my calendar. The last day. By tomorrow, I'm putting this calendar up, the 2023 calendar. This one's going up tomorrow, where that one is. Put that one away, and put this one up by tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, guys. That was my New Year's Eve vlog, guys, and also my end of year review video. Um, but I think I might end the video here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, be sure to smash the like button, subscribe, turn the bell on. Uh, if you guys want to check out uh, the Prime Review video, I'll put a link to it in the description down below. If you guys want, if you guys haven't checked out the Pocky Cookies and Cream video, Review. I'll put a link to that video in the description down below as well. Uh, if you guys want to check out all the other vlogs, the Boxing Day vlog and the Christmas vlogs, uh, those videos will be in the description down below as well. Uh, be sure to follow me on Instagram, my TikTok. Uh, their links will be in the description down below. Go check out my Bands Instagram, my Bands TikTok. Uh, their links will be in the description down below as well. Uh, go check out my Real Fan channel as well as my Walking channel. Their links will be in the description down below as well. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. This is the last vlog of 2022, guys. Happy New Year, guys. I'll see you guys in 2023. Bye, guys.